it. Delight for mum and dad. Disappointment for Kanyas. But it's a career-defining moment for the 19-year-old from Belgrade. He gets his hands on his very first ATP Masters Series shield. And he can't quite believe it. I think you'll all agree with me that new star burst onto the stage here in Miami this week. Novak Djokovic, congratulations. A fourth career title. The first, though, at this level. He's done it. And what a way to do so. A second Waterford Crystal Masters Series shield for the young Serb after earlier success in Miami this season. But in winning this event, he's done something very, very special, defeating the top three players in the world in successive matches. It's been a terrific week. It really has. You get the best of the best at the Masters Series matches. He's done it. last year in Miami and Montreal. He goes one better than he did at this tournament last year where he lost in the final to Rafael Nadal. And of course, it's his second title of the season after earlier success in Melbourne at the Australian Open. Point number two. There it is. Victory for Djokovic. And the fourth A to B Masters Series title. And his very first here in Rome. And you have to say, given how well he played in sets two and three, he thoroughly deserves it. And he joins an illustrious list of champions here at the Foro Italico. It reads like a list of who's who of the tennis world. Deserves warm applause from all concerned. Easy Tiger. Played a really solid match today. He's done it. Yeah. And that's how much it means to him. His first Masters Series 1000 title of the year after coming so close in Miami, Monte Carlo, Rome and Cincinnati. Bitterly disappointing end to the match for Monfils, but he gave his all this afternoon and certainly played his part in a very dramatic match. But it's all about Djokovic. Back-to-back -back titles now after his win in Basel last week. And it's the fifth Masters Series 1000 of his career. The fifth title of this season, tying Nadal now, and it puts him just one behind the tour leader, Andy Murray, who's won six.
Djokovic. The very first time in ten attempts that the Serb has been able to beat Nadal on the Spaniard's beloved clay. And he's done it in the best possible fashion in straight sets to claim the eighth Masters Series 1000 title of his career. Delight for those associated with Djokovic. It's a new trophy. And that will sit proudly front and centre. He's done it. Victory for Djokovic. His first title here in Shanghai. But of course, back-to-back -back victories here in China after proving unbeatable in Beijing last week. And he's done it the hard way, saving five championship points in that remarkable second set. Five championship points. Novak Djokovic reigns in Monte Carlo. He ends Rafa Nadal's eight-year hold on this tournament. He ends Nadal's 46-match unbeaten streak at the Monte Carlo Country Club. And he wins the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters for the first time in his career. And look what it means. Winning for the first time here. What that means is only Cincinnati is missing from his CV as far as the Masters 1000s go. History is made in Cincinnati. Novak Djokovic becomes the first man in singles to capture all nine Masters 1000 titles. It's the Golden Masters sealed in America's Midwest. What an achievement for the Serbian superstar. Your 2018 Western and Southern Open men's singles champion, Novak Djokovic. Well, it's the last stamp in the passport, isn't it? Of these nine great stops that we have on the ATP World Tour. Obviously, when I, when I won the last point, that's when I felt a huge relief, but also great, great satisfaction. And uh, it's definitely one of the most special moments of my career. Um, you know, being, being the only player in history to, to win all Masters and Slams, you know, it's uh, definitely something that, uh, that, that I'll be very, very proud of for the rest of my life.